Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. I'm back here in the big screen beyond in 2024. In my last video, I showed you the Apple Vision Pro, that 4K micro OLED headset in Steam VR playing Half-Life Alex. Now I want to go for the comparison and I want to check out this year, $999. How good is it as compared to the Apple Vision Pro? So let's go into Half-Life Alex. And here, just as nice as with the, yeah, with the Valve, no, not with the Valve Index, with the Apple Vision Pro, that perfect blacks, so good, micro OLED, but I did see a bit more glare already here in the first scene, so the lenses of the Apple Vision Pro just are better than the lenses here of the big screen beyond. So let's get into the game now and really see what are the differences in terms of FOV, in terms of lenses, in terms of, yeah, the visual quality, right? So you probably want to have a micro OLED headset for PC VR gaming because it does make a big difference as compared to your, um, yeah, Quest 3 or to your Valve Index. All right, so let me tell you about what I'm seeing here. I see a very nice visual quality. So it is it is simply great, right? So what is what is so good here compared to the Apple Vision Pro for the Big Screen Beyond is simply the fact that this is not streamed. So as you know with the Apple Vision Pro, you cannot directly connect it to your computer, right? So you can use streaming with ALVR and that works reasonably well as I've shown you, but it is not a display port connection, right? So you would see streaming artifacts and you have color banding for like grays and blacks, but here you don't have that at all. You got the perfect wired display port picture and it just looks so much better. It just looks so much better here in the big screen beyond. Absolutely no comparison. So that is better. Of course, we do have more glare here. And in terms of the lenses, the Apple Vision Pro wins. There's no question about it. Yeah, here we do have slight color shifts in the very um, yeah outer area of the lenses, but you hardly really see that in a game. Like now I can't really see it. If I would be looking at the white sky or the blue sky and everything is super uniform, then probably I could see it. But in an actual gaming situation like this year, no, absolutely not. So that is good. Also in terms of um, performance here. So I'm still on the same computer, the 3080 mobile. And yeah, it, it just feels more snappy. And I do have a higher resolution here. So the thing is, if you do these kind of streaming things, Right? If you, if you stream, your computer has to do lots of work. Alex, great. Okay, let's your computer, wait. hello okay. there. Nope. And exploded. with a direct fine, by the direct DisplayPort connection, Lost. you simply get the native video. So yeah, wow, this is, this is a really, really great experience here in the big screen beyond. Yeah, in terms of FOV, I'm using the thinner face gasket. And if you go for the Big Screen Beyond, you absolutely want that. You want to have the, the thinner gasket so you can have a nice FOV. Now I have a really good FOV, probably around Pico 4, like 102 degrees horizontal and vertical. So that is really nice. And also it's more as compared to the Apple Vision Pro when the Apple Vision Pro is not modded. When I mod the Apple Vision Pro, as in don't use the face cushion, then Russell, I would probably get even a bit more in the oh, Apple no. Vision Pro, but this, I have a better it. binocular overlap here he in, then, the, yeah, they, gonna kill him. Um, oh, yeah, in the big screen beyond. So but I have a the good news is better 3D vision is and better immersion here. To get him back. Great. Yeah, Let's so it. it is now, good. It is a great experience. That no streaming, beautiful OLED colors, great blacks. It's a really cool. I still wish we had the better lenses for the edge clarity, 
from the um, Nova yeah from the Apple Vision Pro and, and of course I would love to have right. that not dual 4K OLED display sense. right via display port not via streaming because you cannot really make full use of that beautiful um, micro OLED Apple Vision Pro screen when you don't have display port and when you simply have to stream it Anything will do. so yeah that's what I want I want better lenses, I want 4K OLED, and I want display port. And well, something might be coming up. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. This is yeah, good. Just grab anything. So I'm really enjoying, <laughs> do not eat. I'm really, really enjoying the Big Screen Beyond. And if you want something that is available now, that is right now, in my opinion, anything the most desirable PC VR headset, yeah, it's simply the big screen beyond. There's absolutely no question about it. It is light, it is comfortable, it has a good FOV, it has micro OLED. Yeah, just grab anything. Yeah, it has a bit glare and the lenses could be better. But other than that, it's a super desirable headset. And if now for PC VR gaming, if I have the choice between my yeah, streaming setup anything. with the Apple Vision Pro and the Big Screen Beyond, there's no question I'm going to go for the Big Screen Beyond. Yeah, because of that direct display port and the, uh, yeah, better picture, better picture quality. Yeah. Yes. Anything. So simply wanted to test it out here in Half-Life Alex, the direct AB comparison. Oh, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> the direct AB comparison between the Apple Vision Pro that I checked out in the last video anything and do. here the Big Screen Beyond. Yeah, let's take something now. Here, here we go. So here we go. Yes. You said us. Well. Yeah, I might be checking out some more games, but I will give you my final review of the of the Big Beyond very soon. Okay. And I can tell you, it is going to be overall very positive. And hack into the with some That'll little um, problems the here, Train but halt, you deal overall, with super desirable PC VR headset that is Where's on the, the market right now. The the yeah, do let me know in the comment section what are your controls. thoughts of picking up oh, the Big Swim Beyond or Russell's? are you salivating no, for no, 4K glass. micro OLED, better lenses, display port? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, you, and if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't don't miss anything. And you know what? I'm looking forward to seeing the next one. Until then, bye bye.